is Coda Territory Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello, everybody. The USD men's and women's basketball teams return to the court tomorrow night when they take on Denver. The Coyote women enter the game with a 13 and 7 record, while the men check in with a 9 and 11 mark. The South Dakota State men and women also take the court tomorrow night as they match up with Kansas City. Both Jackrabbit squads are coming off big wins against their rivals from South Dakota. The SDSU women are on a seven game winning streak and are a perfect 5 and 0 in Summit League play. But head coach Aaron Johnson knows his team will need to play well to keep the victories coming. Uh, now as we shift gears and get ready for this week, we got a more, couple more important ones. Kansas City's been playing well. They've lost some close games in our league right now. Probably playing better than what their record shows. They've taken some big steps forward from where they were last year, so that's going to be a, a good game for us, really competitive game down there. And then we come back with kind of the uh, unique uh, Sunday game against Oral Roberts, who's playing lights out right now, scoring a ton of points, defending uh, just a really good team in our league, and it's easy to see why they're, they're winning a lot of games. The Wall Boys basketball team returns to the court tomorrow night when it hosts Hill City. Brody Sundahl has helped the Eagles rank up a strong 7-4 and four record. Andrew Lynn has more with our Gustafson Builders Athlete of the Week. The Wall Boys basketball team has built a remarkable season behind the play of Brody Sundahl. The senior guard leads the Eagles in scoring and rebounding while also taking charge as floor general. He's just been a very invaluable resource for me, you know, counting on him to guide the younger crew and just always a reliable source, you know, for me to look on and uh, look to, I guess, when we need him. Sundell has had his highs and his lows as a high school hoops player, but has remained even keeled and his teammates have followed suit. Just enjoy every moment of it. I've had a couple injuries, so I really just want to enjoy this last season and um, succeed and do as much as we can. Just his demeanor and his approach, not only to games, but to practice every day, has been such a great example for our young guys, and they've really grasped that. Even though Sundahl is just one of two seniors on the Eagles roster, he hasn't let his age get in the way. I thought it would feel kind of weird not really having much of my friends out, but I've really uh, bonded with these younger guys, and they're fun to hang around, and they're, they're good. They're fun to play with, so it, it works out. To being that guy that kind of brings the calm when there's controversy, which, of course, in every game there's going to be. And so he's done that extremely well. In addition to the seniors' scoring capabilities, the Eagles' success comes from their airtight defense, Sundell explains. It speaks a lot about our team, how much the guys love love to play and love to compete. That's that's really what defense is, is how bad how bad you want to compete, and they want to, so uh, our defense has been really good. Wall is back on the court tomorrow against Till City. Flying with the Eagles, I'm Andrew Lynn. In the NBA tonight, the uh, Timberwolves defeated the Wizards 118 to 107. Anthony Edwards led Minnesota with 38 points. Carl Anthony Towns poured in 27. Rudy Gobert registered a double double with 19 points and 16 rebounds. The Bucks also defeated the Cavaliers tonight 126 to 116. The Rush opened up the Stock Show road trip tonight. Rapid City comes up on the short end, falling to Utah 4 to 2 in a men's college basketball. Basketball, a couple big upsets tonight. Alabama knocked off eighth ranked Auburn 79 75, and it was Northwestern defeating 10th ranked Illinois 96 91. All right, thanks, Vic.